time to get excited. Kill Karen, Sherry Cask, Oloroso Sherry, Kill Karen 8, Kill Karen 8, Port Cask. Which one's best? Let's find out. Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another new week, another new video. Yes, another brand new video. We're tackling Campbelltown again. We're on to Kilcairn. Never thought I'd get to review these whiskies. Couple of shout outs straight away. I'd like to thank Mr. Justin Adams, the Monk Monk, one of the Manchester Whiskey Boys, who firstly sent me the Kilcairn port cask sample. He's now followed that up with a Kilcairn 8 sherry cask, so big, big thanks to Justin for that. And also a special mention for Ed Kildee up there in Glasgow. Ed, very generously, I reached out on my last video saying that I should maybe have checked one of these out and maybe picked one up. Ed, very generously, got one to me. So big, big thanks to Ed, big thanks to both those guys. So now I do get the chance. I have reviewed the port cask sample i will pop a link above now i'm going to get the chance to do them side by side which is absolutely fantastic so i'm looking forward to both of these i've had them covered up for the last hour or so whiskey friend coin 187 on the sherry and 188 on the port they're, they're, they're easy to tell apart because the port has that little red hue and the all the is wonderful wonderful color real dark dark gold dark amber fantastic uh the sherry one is coming in at 58.1 percent abv so it's, a, it's looking a bit punchy and the shit the port cask is coming in a little bit less at 57.9 both natural color both non-chill filtered both age statements fantastic well done glen gale well done kill karen uh tick 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 all the boxes so yes let's dive into them I'm going to do the main review on this sherry one, guys, because I haven't quite done it yet. I have, see, I have done the the port one, so as I said, I'll pop a link above. And this is really just to compare, just to figure out which one's best. So, let's do the nose on the sherry. Straight up front, it's it's sherry, which you would expect. But it's a veggie, veggie type sherry notes, musty maybe. Me even like you've walked into some sort of Dunnage warehouse. It's that kind of damp, a little bit dank. But it's it's definitely got that salinity on the nose and that coastal element. So it's definitely Campbelltown. Definitely a little bit musty. But that musty sherry. Some people think they called it dirty sherry before, but this is a little bit more musty. Maybe a damp warehouse, something like that. So easy to nose. That's it, 58.1%. There's no alcohol nip. some some fruit some stewed fruit maybe some stewed prunes bit of dates there's also some a little hint of coffee bean in there as well again a really really nice nose wow definitely that sherry salty it smells like it's going to be really dry and musty fusty even not picking up much sulfur there may be a tiny tiny hint right in the back so compared to last year's which was super super sulfury this one is very very minimal on minimal on this one this is much much nicer to nose than the last one i never got on with the last year's kilkenny cool sherry this one's off to a better start so just a quick one guys let's do a quick dive on the port covered up with a 188 coin okay wow this is earthy funky little dirty but it's that dunnage damp dank but there's there's much more red fruit on this more berry fruit cherry black grape some red apples so yeah it's much much fruitier this has got a lovely lovely fruity sweetness to it whereas the Sherry's a little bit drier, 
a little bit moose, a little bit foosty, a little bit musty. It's got a lovely fruity sweetness to this one. It's it's a little bit more floral, a little bit more fragrant than the sherry. And there's again, there's a little hint, tiny, tiny little hint of sulfur in this as well. But yeah, both fantastic. So, if you're a regular to the channel, guys, then you'll know what's going to happen next. We're going to have a quick sip on this. It's going to go straight down the hatch, responsibly, of course. Cheers. Need a moment. Watch that. Fantastic arrival. Thick texture. It's oily. It's buttery. But it's it's so dry and it's so salty on arrival. There's a little bit more heat than I expected. A little bit spicier than I, than I got from the nose when I nosed it. Definitely hotter. Spicier. But that salty, dry, buttery thick doesn't hang around very long because it, it, it changes very quickly and, and, and it goes into development the red fruits come through there's a lot about leather in here as well a lot about leather earthy veggie note carries on into the into the palate but then it as it turns let's take a second sip of this one As you get into the development, it because those red fruits come in, it becomes jammy, sticky, red fruit, jammy, cherry jam, lots of cinnamon, got a lot of nice spice coming through as well. And heading towards the finish, it's, there's a lovely, lovely dark chocolate note coming in. But it's beautifully balanced because you've got You've got leather there, you've got it earthy, you've got it veggie, you've got fruity, you've got spicy. So there's lots and lots of things going on in this one. It's lovely and dry on arrival, becomes really, really juicy and sticky, very jammy. Even, even so much the salt hangs around as well and it even comes across as a little bit of salted caramel on the, on the palate there as well. Let's have a quick sip of the port. I remember tasting both of these at the Glasgow Whiskey Festival. And I think on the day, I had, had lots and lots of different whiskies on the day. And by the time I got to Kilkerran, it was one of the highlights of the day because when I did both of them, I think I actually had a preference. Everyone knows, guys, if you've watched the channel, you'll know that I'm a massive Kilkerran 8 Oloroso fan. I wasn't such a fan of last year's one, but the previous one was just the... Uh, it's probably been my most watched individual whiskey video. So thanks to everyone who's watched. I did get a little bit excited right enough. I'm going to try and hold back my excitement on this one. Although I've got twice the excitement going on here. So let's have a quick sip of the port. Look at that beautiful, beautiful colour. Do the hatch, folks. Again, this straight up front though is it's a thick, wonderful mouthfeel, oily, syrupy, bothering a little bit chewy. It's again, it's a little bit dry on arrival, not for very long. It becomes a wee bit spicier. This is a wee bit spicy again, peppery, spicy, tingy, tingy, tingly. But then those red fruits come in: the plums, grapes, black grape, plum. Red currants, red berries, so much red fruit in this one. Again, this is nice and it becomes really, really mouth watering and really juicy. Stewed fruits, sticky, but at the same time, it's earthy. Again, it's beautiful, balanced. A little hint of smoke in this. Again, both wonderfully complex. Heading towards the finish of the port one, it's, it's, it's spicy. Hint of smoke. 
maybe even a little bit of that distant bonfire, a little bit of tobacco, and the, a little bit of red fruit. Real, real wonderful, wonderful stuff. Let's have a last sip of this sherry one. Wow. Much, much prefer this to last year's one, folks. Sherry. Spicy. Again, there's a lot of spice. Really spicy finish. Lots of cinnamon. Really, really lovely dark chocolate notes on the finish. That salty note is that salty caramel is there throughout. Both, both wonderful whiskies. So, if it comes down to choosing one, I'm very, very thankful again, Mr. Ed. Really, really loved. I really wanted to do this, guys, because I just wanted Ed to see that this was not going to sit on my shelf. This was definitely going to get opened. Just a quick one, guys. I've still not been able to pick up a sherry bottle. So if anybody has a spare sherry bottle, I'm more than happy to pay for it. Uh, just drop me a comment into the comments. Hook me up with an email in the description. And if you've got a spare bottle, then I'd be very, very thankful to add one of those to my collection. I was a little bit disappointed. The FOMO didn't kick in with me this time because I knew how difficult it was to get a hold of and I just didn't want to waste any of my time by trying to get a hold of it. But now that I've tried both of them, I'm a little bit sad that I didn't chase it down a little bit more. So so uh, you've probably noticed, guys, new win, new backdrop, Kilcarry and Campbelltown. It may be the last time you see this backdrop, folks, because it's it's becoming tougher and tougher and tougher to get a hold of these these spring banks and kill Karens. So I've I thought I'd pop it up just to on honour of these whiskies. Score wise, which one's my favourite? Um I think I scored on the sample of this port cask I scored at ninety three, but I'm gonna raise it to ninety four. So I'm gonna give this port cask a ninety four out of a hundred, which really sets it into the running of for whiskey of the year at the minute. Got a couple of contenders for that one. The sherry one, although it's much, much better than last year's, it's not quite the same as the 2019, 57.1%, although this is a lot bit higher than ABV. I presume I've not got enough to try this with water, because I say I've only got this little sample, but I think water would do well with this. I think the water would just take a little bit of the heat off. It is a wee bit hot and a wee bit spicy. I'm hoping that the water would make it a wee bit more caramel, a wee bit more salted caramel, a wee bit more kind of bring out some of the lighter fruits and stuff. So, yeah, if you've managed to try the sherry one, guys, with some water, dive into the comments, let us know how it turns out. Does it change it much? Does it help it? I know I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of water and whiskey, but some whiskies do deserve to have it. And if you want to play around with, if you've got a full bottle now, I can play around with this with water. So, yeah, that's pretty much 90 four for the port cask I'm going to do 92 for the sherry cask absolutely wonderful stuff fantastic whiskies if you manage to get a hold of them dive into the comments let us know what you think of them have you opened them have you still got them closed guys if you've liked the video you know what to do just give me the thumbs up don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below just a friendly reminder from me today it still doesn't cost you anything it's still completely free and you're still helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 6k. Big shout out to my Patreons. Guys have been around. Some of them have been around for the very start. Picked up a few new Patreons recently. So if you fancy supporting the channel, everything that comes from Patreon, folks, just goes back to buying more of this stuff behind us. Uh, helps upgrade the tech. So dive in, have a look, check it out. If you feel you want to support, that'd be all much, much appreciated. Other than that, guys, as always... I'm the Whiskey Friend, pleasure is in the sharing, and please remember, always send some good whiskey straight down the hatch, responsibly of course. Cheers now. Until the next time, see you soon.